As the war in Ukraine continues for the past six months, Oregon native Christopher Freisinger has been running food and supplies into the country, forfeiting his own safety to help Ukrainians in need. He left back in April, recently came back to his home in Tigard, and is now about to return. So we take food in uh, for roughly 35,000 people per week is how many we feed, and we bring people out. So far we've rescued 20, just a little over 29,000 since the beginning of the war. Christopher works for an international organization called Kids Save. The main goal is to strengthen families and help orphans find families. A lot of safe houses and refugee centers. Some of them are meant to move uh, people through to other countries and areas to, to wherever they're wanting to go. Uh, and some are specifically for our orphans, etc. So we can provide them psychological care, medical care. As he prepares to head back for the winter, needs are changing. Just to keep warm, hidden and safe as Russian forces continue to bomb and invade. Right now, the need throughout the winter is for sure going to be power generators, uh, wood and cooking stoves, even single like little rocket burner stoves that can be manufactured fairly quickly and cheaply, uh, warm clothing. Christopher has a family of his own and risked his life to go to Ukraine to help out. He has a background in law enforcement and software engineering. He wanted to use all his skills to make a difference, but it's been a dangerous experience. I've been in areas that have gotten sh were actively getting shelled or had just been shelled. I've seen missiles flying overhead from the Black Sea more than a couple of times. Chris doesn't know how long he'll be over there. This time around, it could be up to a year. If people want to donate to Kids Save, we'll have a link to this story on our page, kgw.com.